And in breaking news overnight, we now go to Westtown Parkway where it's closed right now from Valley West Drive to 39th Street this morning after a hotel fire broke out at the Valley West Inn in West Des Moines. The first call came in at 1116 last night. It started as a one alarm fire. However, this quickly escalated to a three alarm fire within minutes. Six fire departments were called to this fire right now. Local Five's Khalil Maycock joins us live on the scene. And Khalil, you're out there right now. What do you see? What can you tell us? Good morning, Chinu. So right now, like you said, those streets are still blocked off. And I spoke to someone with the Western Wind Fire Department just a few minutes ago, and he told me that, like you said, this fire started last night. They have taken two people to the hospital, and he says he can't uh, give any updates on their status. But I also want to stay in the back of Valley West. I'm going to step out of the scene so that you can just get a closer look. There is a Red Cross staging area, and Red Cross is in the back helping out some of the people that were here. So there were hotel residents hanging out the windows trying to get out as fast as possible and we were able to speak to the West Des Moines Fire Marshal on what fire crews saw in such a short period of time. We had people coming up to us that were residents that were grabbing the firefighters and yelling that there were people that were trapped. You, you have an intense fire, a lot of smoke, it's late at night, people are waking up to this. They definitely needed a lot of assistance in getting out. Some people were able to get out on their own. Our firefighters did make a lot of rescues. Again, they were dropping kids out of the windows to some of our firefighters. That that is something that is, you know, one of the worst scenarios you could ever imagine, you know, encountering. It's what we train for and it's what we had to do tonight. And like I said, so there are there is a uh, Red Cross in the back that is helping people. There are more than a dozen people back there that I could see. Um, and we did speak to a person who was inside of the hotel and she had to rush out. She was asking if I knew anything about whether police were letting them back into their cars or back into the hotel because she said her keys were in there uh, and I was not able to give that to her. Um, and then the fire uh, department did not say when the roads would be opened. So live in West on Westtown Parkway, Clay Maycock, Local 5 News, back to you. Wow, just some incredible images there and, and just that sound bite from the, from the fire department. It was just uh, incredible there. Khalil, uh, again, um, when you spoke to people out there, how are they feeling this morning? That one lady, she was a bit shaken up. She says she didn't expect this to happen, um, but she's hoping that she can get back or at least get her belongings soon. Uh, she said she is ready to leave this area. All right, Khalil Maycock with Local 5. Thank you so much, Khalil.